So this is a topic that I feel like is really weird and kind of out there, and I don't know if it will apply to everybody, but for myself, I feel like this is very relevant. And for, I feel like a lot of people, it's probably one of the most important things to talk about. Now, it won't make you any better at the game, and it won't make you, you know, 100% climb to uh, masters or whatever, but it will help you a lot having fun, and I guess it will help you with your friends a lot, which I feel like is probably more important than simply getting better at the game itself. Um, now with myself, I had pretty good experiences with this, and by that I mean, you know, a pretty big one, and I feel like we've come up with a, a decent solution to how to fix this. Um, and today I'm going to just be really talking about that. Now, before we get started, I'm not trying to throw you under the bus, my friend. I feel like you could become very good, and I feel like you could definitely put in a lot of work and try to get to Masters pretty easily, and we're actually starting to do that with him. Um, but, you know, I'm just going to use you as an example. So there you go. Don't roast him. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let's just start it off. So, when we started playing Overwatch, it was me and two other friends. And, you know, we started playing the game. We played a lot of quick play, had a lot of fun, went off from there. You know, it was half decent, and I feel like that's where a lot of people start off. You just all get the game, you all start playing, you all start enjoying it. And we did that for probably around, you know, 40, 50 levels, something like that. Really enjoyed the game. Um, and then eventually, we all got into ranked. It was Season 1 ranked, which is a little bit weird. And we didn't play any of our placement matches together, which is, was also a little bit weird. And we got placed very far away from each other. Um, and I guess for some reason, for the first season, we just didn't really play that much together, uh, as far as ranked. But we did play quite a bit the other game modes, enjoyed the game, and, and kind of went on from there. As far as the future seasons, though, I slowly started to put a lot of effort, a lot of work, started to climb from, I think, like, low plat, um, all the way to diamond, and then later got all the way to masters, I think in season three. And then as well, I have another friend that I think got placed in, like, diamond or somewhere near there. You know, he climbed a lot in season one and stayed really high, essentially, for the entire game. Uh, that has been released, and you know, he got all the way to Masters as well, and we started to play some games together and did whatever. But then we still had that one friend that played some of his initial games in Season 1, got placed to like 44 SR or whatever, didn't really climb way too much, and just was kind of stuck there. And as the seasons went on, it just kind of got a little bit worse. He went from, I think, you know, whatever, you know, gold to lower gold to bottom gold to top of silver to medium silver, and he kind of just got stuck there. Um, just from well, not playing the game too much. He wasn't like super bad. He, he's a pretty good tank player that really enjoys playing the game, and I really like playing with him as well. Um, but yeah, he just kind of got stuck um, because he wasn't that much better than everybody on his team. And of course, down in lower ranks, it can be kind of hard if you aren't much better than everybody in your team um, to carry your team, and I guess to rank up. So, you know, that's kind of what happened with him and with us. For a long time, we just played a little bit of quick play games, but as time went on, I feel like we really just stopped playing together at all. Um, for a few months, we just didn't really do anything other than, you know, just in person and, you know, you know, board games, uh, movies, anything like that. But as far as the game itself, um, online, we, we didn't play way too much. Um, and that actually happened for quite a long time, probably around three to four seasons. Um, and from there, you know, we played other games, PUBG, whatever you want to say. And eventually, we started, well, me and my friend that got all the way to Masters, started to actually be like, hey, maybe, maybe we should play with this other friend, maybe we should get going with him. For a long time... This is what I want to say to you guys. Don't just expect your friend that's a lot lower rank than you to just want to climb for no reason and want to get to your rank. That's what I did for a long time. I, I just kind of was like, yeah, he'll probably eventually climb. I'll probably eventually get to where I can play with him. And then, you know, we'll play games and we'll go on from there. Um, because he was at such a low rank that I couldn't even play with him. But he just didn't really. And I was just like, you know, why won't this guy do it? You know, sometimes I'd, I'd kind of pester him and ask him sometimes to rank up a little bit. And he'd just get kind of stuck where he was again. And that just kind of went off forever until me and my friend finally put in a little bit of effort and now we're actually playing with him again. Now we're having quite a bit of fun. Now, of course, we have moved on a little bit to more League and more PUBG, but we're actually playing more Overwatch even with two other games um, than with just Overwatch by itself for like five or six months. So that's kind of weird. How do we do it, though? Well, I think simply put, it was playing with our Smurfs with him. And I know that a lot of people are going to hate that idea. I know a lot of people are going to be like, you know what, you're just boosting that guy, you're complete freaking jerk but honestly a lot of the times i just want to be able to play with my friend and honestly for a lot of people i feel like a good thing is just to play with your friends and enjoy the game with your friends and if your friends such such a far rank below you um that you get a smurf and it gets placed and you can actually play with them you know why not go for that why not enjoy your time with them why not help them climb up help them get better as well because that's the thing that i feel like can be very important if you play with someone on your smurf and eventually get them up to a rank near your original rank, well then you can start playing with them with that. And even if you get them just like a thousand SR below your original rank, you can do that as well. Um, and as far as it goes, 
you know, just telling your friend tips can be nice, can slowly help them rank up, but actually playing with them. You know, telling them kind of what they're doing wrong, what to do instead, uh, how to play certain characters, maybe who they should shy away from a little bit with their play style, all that stuff, and just kind of a bit of mini coaching while playing with them, while having fun with them. I feel like putting that all together really can, you know, boost the rank that they're at, I guess, but that's not really what we're after. What we're more after is getting you guys actually playing together again and getting you actually enjoying the game again, um, together at least. And I feel like that's probably one of the best ways to do that. Now, with that said, if you can play the game and just help him climb up without having to play with him, you know, whatever, you can do whatever you want to. Um, but I feel like that can be a way that can help you enjoy the game. Now, as well with this, if you are within a rank that you can actually play with him, that's as well as something that I feel like can be very nice. A problem, though, that I feel like a lot of you guys are going to come into is that you won't want to play with somebody much lower rank than you because you're afraid that they're going to throw your SR and you're afraid that they're going to throw all your games and whatever on your main account. You don't really want to rank down. Even when I could play with my friend, all the times I was kind of afraid, like, you know, I don't really want to play with him because he's not at my SR. It'll, it'll probably hurt a lot of my games. I don't want to do that. And even if he was good enough to play my SR, you know, it's just a little bit of a nagging thing in the back of my head. While playing on a Smurf or playing on a friend's account or an alt account or something, really can help you, you know, go into these games, enjoy it with them, and help them climb with it. Um, and you can go on from there. Now, as well, I just want to say this is all if you just want to play competitive with one of your friends, you know, help them get better and actually play with them again. And it's something we've been doing and something that, you know, it's a continual process, not completely done yet, but a fun thing to do. Um, but as well, if you just, you know, have friends that aren't very good at Overwatch, and, you know, you, you initially thought that you were going to play a lot of competitive with them, but you eventually really haven't, Maybe you can think of doing a bit of scrims with them, um, doing, I guess, some arcades, some quick play, but scrims, I feel like, is a really fun thing that you can do with your friends. You can be really any rank, and you can have, you know, semi-competitive games, pretty competitive games, with a lot of talking, with a lot of teamwork, that are enjoyable. Personally, I haven't done these way too much, but I have done, um, I have done them enough times to realize the value in it and to realize how fun it is. Especially when people, you know, host these little mini tournaments, which you can just look up online, Overwatch scrims or Overwatch mini tournaments or, you know, whatever, go into the Overwatch Discord and look for this stuff. I feel like it's really fun because you just get a good experience with your friend, a good competitive experience, while you don't really have to risk your SR. So that's a thing that you can do as well. If you don't want to happen to go for, you know, actually helping them out, you can go instead for just playing with them like that. As well, I want to say that just because your friend isn't, you know, as good as you doesn't mean you can't play other game modes with him. Quick play, arcade, custom games, all the other stuff. I feel like a lot of people just kind of forget these game modes exist and, you know, you get into that competitive 24-hour grind. And uh, sometimes you might want to remember, you know, you can, you can stop from that for a bit. You can play with these people. You can also help them improve quite a bit, especially in quick play. If you just give them, like, actual tips during quick play. That could maybe help them climb quite a bit, uh, especially, you know, ultimates, when to use them and everything like that. That's something that you can do to help your friends that really aren't doing the best in Overwatch. And now I guess the final thing I want to say to you guys is that if you do have a friend that sucks at Overwatch, but you keep pushing them to becoming the best player and to becoming as good as you, you need to realize that not every person wants to do this. And this is a thing that's very hard for me. Personally, I want to push everybody to become the very best. I want everybody to be able to get to where I am. We can play together. We can climb together. We can go up. We can enjoy ourselves. We can put a lot of time and a lot of effort together. But as well, a lot of people have other priorities, other stuff they want to do. Your friends just may not want to happen to have to climb all the way to Grandmaster. They might just feel happy playing in silver, gold, platinum, you know, diamond, whatever. And if that's what they want to do, then you have to respect that. Um, if they want to play ranked with you, you're going to have to tell them, you know, you'll have to rank up. You'll have to put in that work. Um, but if you're willing to play these other game modes, we can go for that. If you want to go for scrims, we can go for that. There's a lot of other stuff like that that you can do. And I guess one of the final things you can do if your friends aren't that great at Overwatch is just play with them when the little side mini events come out. You know, when you have the, I don't even know what they're called, <laughs> like the Overwatch Agents event, I think it was called. And then the Junkenstein event and, you know, Lucio Ball, all those different things. Just wait to play with them during those events. I guess that's a weird little cop-out thing you can do if you really want to play with these people, but you can't make yourself, you know, <laughs> play ranked or I don't really know. That, that's a thing you can do if you want to go for that. Maybe not the best idea, but I guess a thing you can do. And a thing that I've done a bit in the past, uh, probably a bit of a mistake, but, you know, if you're if you're not, not willing to give anything up, you can go for that. And I feel like really in general, you just have to realize that you are going to have to just give up a little bit 
Um, but you will in return get a lot of fun, a lot of happiness, and a lot of just enjoyment back into the game. So I guess that's up to you to see what you want to do. Anyways, as always, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this video helped you just a little bit, giving my own insight on this, my own experience. Um, this was like, you know, 10, 11 months of experience. So hopefully you don't make the same stupid mistakes that I made, essentially just waiting and not playing with your friend forever because you're too afraid they're going to drop your SR. That's dumb. Don't do that. Instead, try to find other solutions around it and don't just procrastinate the solution as I did. There we go. Learn from others' mistakes. <laughs> Anyways, as always, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see any more. And right at the top of the screen right now, there is a card where you can watch more videos like this, discussions on a big variety of things that I feel like people don't really talk about way too much. But as always, have a wonderful day.